Mousecraft is a fun, puzzling cross between Lemmings and Tetris. Watch me play through the first 15 levels. I'm Zach Scott, and this is Quick Play. Alright guys, what's up? Zach Scott here playing Mousecraft, and we're going to do the story mode for this Quick Play video. And uh, we're going to see exactly what this game is all about. Uh, once upon a time on planet Cohesia, Schrodinger was his name. It's something about a cat. <laughs> And he was a scientist working on a very cheese consuming experiment. He worked on this project very hard, but he failed to succeed repeatedly until he ran out of cheese. He was left with only one choice, which was what? Which, which was what? What was his choice? No. Okay, we'll find out. A level one, I hear this is a cross between Tetris and Lemmings. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see. This cat looks pretty cute. A little, little bit like a Christopher Lloyd type of cat. He decided to spend all of his savings. Don't do that. And buy some cheese. <laughs> That's pretty expensive. Look at that price. So we could go through his experiment a few more times. <laughs> all right. Help the cat in his experiment by leading at least one mouse to the cheese. Okay. I can pull this off. Press play to start or use the E key. I use the E key. Mice can jump, but only one block high. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, so this guy can't jump at all, but that's what the Tetris block is here for move I bet I bet it would crush him if not so that's that's how they're gonna get, get to their cheese okay so I get it it's like lemmings who can jump and you use Tetris blocks to uh, get them to a goal here at least one experiment a success right well we got two if we light up three oh uh, we get probably some sort of super bonus there we go perfect per it even says perfect perfect <laughs> All right. I got the hang of this already. I like this game because I already know how to play. So it's perfect in that sense. Uh, I, I feel like this should go here. We're trying to make it so that there's uh, only a one block discrepancy here. Seems good enough. Uh, or use, yeah, choose what? Okay, choose bricks. I already did, I did that. Play! There we go. So we can set them beforehand. I'm really curious if this would crush them. Press E to speed up. Perfect! You know, there's so many games that don't have a speed up option. I'm glad this one does. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, let's see. What's gonna be next here? Uh, rotate bricks with the, <laughs> I don't have a three mouse button. I mean, a three-button mouse. I do technically. The middle, the middle scroll wheel is the, uh, the third, I guess. So let's see what we got here. Um, okay, so we rotate. I mean, that looks like what we're supposed to do, essentially. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Let's E. Let's start up. Hold it down. Speed them up. These first levels are probably going to be really easy. What? What, <laughs> what was that? Uh-oh, suddenly just after the shard. What? Okay, hello. Bring me as many shards as you can. I'll pay you so you can continue your experiments. Ooh. Ooh, ooh who is this guy? This Christopher Lloyd-like cat just cares about the money. The big cheese. So, uh, he's going to do it. Here we go. Anima Shard, ancient crystals with great value on planet Cohesia, the world of Mousecraft. Collect them so Schrodinger can continue his experiment. Okay. I'm really curious what this experiment's all about. Alright, so we got it. Three of three. My only complaint so far about this game is I can't read the things fast enough. I'm either a really slow reader. Okay, so how do you collect? Mice can collect. Okay, oh! Okay, so mice can collect the shard. That's really cool. All right, we're gonna take this one. Uh, not there. Ugh. Can I put this back? I frankly don't know where this goes. 
Can I please? I can. Perfect. All right, this looks good there. And I don't think I need. To, I, I just don't think I need to use this one. Oh wait, I do. I do. Time out. Oh wait, wait. Oh my god. All right, that was it right there. That's where we need. I'm, I forgot about the shard. Retry. I'm sorry. All right. This is really interesting. Okay, I, I'm i liking this game a lot. This is really cool. Uh, let's go forth now, collect the shards. There you go. All three mice, all three shards. There we go. I can definitely see the appeal of this. This is fun. I'm curious at how this is gonna get much harder. Hopefully it doesn't get too much harder because I'm not very good at these games. Nah, I'm okay at these games. Uh, let's see. Release the mice first. Why? Why? Okay. Because it wants me to. Oh, so we can get past a specific point. I get it. Okay, then we're gonna probably drop down this brick here. Alright, that makes sense. Well, there we go, mice. Keep going. This fast forward is very helpful. All right, this game is well done. Okay. I'm always surprised when I play an indie game. It's really well done. I don't know why. That is never my, you know, it's, my experience is rarely the contrary. Uh, so I don't know why. But in some stage, okay, already placed in this level. Oh, yeah, there, that's true. That is true. In some stages, bricks are, indeed, already placed on the level. So how do we deal with that? Obviously, there's a guy here. He's gonna collect this and he's gonna fall off, isn't he? Is that what's gonna happen? I'm curious, let's see what happens. Does he just fall off? Does he straight up fall off? Oh, there's a force field. Active pause has been turned on. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Um, that doesn't make much sense. This could work though. This would work really well. Right there. And then this. Just perfect right there. Okay, here we go. Calmly place place the bricks. I've done that. Alright. Good maneuvering. They got all the pieces right there. Perfect. This is fun. Okay. <clears throat> Mice can fall down, a, oh, a max of three. This one's four. This one's two, three, four. So obviously what we want to do, and this is just teaching me about this. Go, let's go. You fell, you fell, you fell. Good job, mice. Congratulations, my bu my buddies. <laughs> three mice and three shards, okay. So they can fall only a max of three. Uh, what's the catch here, what's the gimmick? I probably gotta wait till they get to a certain point. That's my guess. I'm. Oh man, I don't know. No, you know what? I don't know yet. I feel like this is something. Ooh, clever. Um. Oh no, they're already gonna get that piece, aren't they? Okay, so that's really interesting. Um. Ooh, what do I do? Uh, let's release them. Let's see what happens. They got... Oh, gosh! Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry, mice. I'm sorry. You fall too much. You die. And the cat has some reason s sad about dead mice. <laughs> All right. So I think this is the key here. That's the real key. Let's go ahead and release them. They're gonna be doing their thing. They're gonna go get this. They're gonna turn around. All three of them are gonna turn around. And then I'm gonna do this as soon as I have room. There we go, perfect. You don't have to hold down E, you just have to press it once. There we go. Okay, so I, what? Okay, a bomb just dropped down. Brick bomb. You got a brick bomb, collect them to destroy bricks. Don't worry, they will not harm the mice, okay. They should make it so that they harm the mice, though. Because <laughs> that would be funny. 
All right, all three mice, all three of those gems. So this looks like what we're probably gonna need. We're gonna have to place some brick bombs. And now, obviously they're gonna be, uh, I hear it, is it gonna explode? Okay. Uh. All right. Oh, I get it. I bet that there you go. Then that's gonna fall and make a ladder for them. That's only two of the gym. Oh, there's only two in the stage. Okay, perfect. Makes sense, indeed. Go. Sorry, I didn't mean to slow you down. Not sure what kind of experiments these are. This feels like this would be a perfect iPad game, but I'm playing this on my PC. Um, this would be a great game on the go for sure. Uh, oh, you, you, oh, oh, the the mice collect bombs. That's really cool. So I have one bomb here, obviously. I feel like I should take care of that. This could be placed really anywhere. Um, you know what? This is going to work out just wonderfully. Look at these. One bomb, two bomb. They don't harm the mice at all. Uh, so let's see what we get with that. There we go. Oh, but I need another bomb for this. Perfect. I'm glad there's no there are no time time limits here because that would be really annoying. All right. All right. Yeah, this is definitely a puzzle game. Okay. So. These mice, there's probably an invisible force field here. We're probably going to need to blow this up, no matter what. But we don't have what it takes yet. So what happens? There are four of them. Let's just release them, see what happens. Let's not, let's not overthink it. They're gonna go up, they're gonna reverse, basically. They're gonna get this. Great. Uh, let's try it. They're gonna get what's needed. Mm. Uh, seems like it could work. Definitely got two bombs now. Uh, okay, restart. How do I just undo? Perfect. Okay, the undo is a lifesaver here. That's great. Let's go ahead and uh, tr uh, trigger this, I guess. bombs yet all right good good work um, yeah I messed up again now what now they're stuck again pause this could work, right? What? Okay, hold up. All right, he's gonna go get that. He's gonna get that. I don't know how to do it. I really don't. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and get the cheese here. I don't know how to do it. I mean, I'm stuck. I feel like such an idiot right now, but there should be a, a way to beat it with so many stars. What is this guy? I feel like such an idiot. Beware of enemies, Rattoid. Do not let your mice get close to them. They are the result of Schrodinger's not very successful experiment where he would try to create mechanical mice. 
Okay, so I I'm not wise enough to get to the uh, get to the uh, <laughs> the golden rating here on level 11. So let's go over to level 12 and see what we can do. Oh, ooh, ratoids behave exactly like mice. Don't let them touch the mice, though. That's an interesting feature, and you can use bricks to smash or block them. I feel like the difficulty is getting really tough. All right, I get it. Seems like the easiest thing would just be to uh, time it so that they, they get smashed here. No, okay. This guy's gonna go all out. It's gonna be down there. How? Boom. Oh, I got two of them. Okay, well that makes all the difference in the world then, doesn't it? Well, there we go. I didn't realize I have two of them. I'm gonna go ahead and get this done then. That's perfect. All right, perfect. It even says so again. Uh, what? Is this the same thing? What happened? What? Hold up. Did I not? Okay, hold on. Did I not do it already? Okay, I don't know what happened. Sorry. So we have two of these, which is good. Possibly. See, I could have got them both right then and there. Right here. And that would have been pretty good. That would have been pretty interesting. Uh, let's... If they both come this way, I can just squash them right now. Let's make that happen. Let's let that happen. I'm curious if this is our solution. Got him. And then they're gonna go down like so. Ooh, that's a large drop though. Ugh. But this is, oh man. But then what? Okay. Yeah, it's a large drop and they're gonna die here. I'm gonna do this just so we'll see them. They're gonna die. They're gonna collect everything, but they're gonna die. I think they're gonna die from that drop. Unless like the final drop, nope, final drop is horrible. Okay, um, so we gotta figure out how to get those guys to collect those. That's obviously a thing that we gotta worry about. Again, they're going to be missing this thing up here. And I really don't know how to get that over there. Alright, so another puzzle that I'm not able to solve my first time around. There's only, the, the only thing there, there, there's only two of these and that's all there is. So how do we go, you know what we could do? one way if I want to go over here and then immediately go back up pretty much the only thing I, I can do in my opinion is this which means what so he'll go back up Oh, you know what? Then that's a three drop instead of a four right there. Okay, so that makes sense. This could work, I think. 
Let's see if they get these items. There we go. All right, level, ele level 11's hard for me. I don't know what happened, but I did this stage finally. And then, uh, of course, we, we, you know, this game is gonna keep getting more and more advanced the further you go. This one's gonna rely on me blowing things up. Ooh, how do I wanna go about doing that? We're obviously gonna, gonna get a bomb from there. So that's the first step, is grabbing that bomb. Then we could do more bombs, like we can, we can get rid of this, I imagine. Let them go over. There we go. Pretty much a dead end right there. We got two more bombs. I feel like that's important. And I feel like that's important. There we go. One more bomb. What's it gonna be? I have a feeling it's gonna be this. But let's uh, wait for just a second here. Yeah, that's good. There we go. All right, I wish I knew. Oh man, I'm getting gold ratings on all these, except for level 11. All right. Let's see, how much further do we have to go? This one's more about, oh, we, we're starting off with a bomb here. Now this is this is more and more complicated. You're not gonna believe it. You better believe it. Um, ugh. Boom. Oh, you know what? I don't even know what. Let's do an undo. This looks like the right way to go about doing things right here. And then this. <laughs> uh. This is so confusing. This is the most confused I've been in a long time. This is so crazy. Um, all right, well, everyone's dying. That's okay. And I guess you're supposed to just go up there. <laughs> That's not gonna work, obviously. What am I thinking? Oh my god. All right. Um, I mean, this will work to a point, but then, uh, I'm sorry, to a point. But then what's gonna happen is that, what, how come I can't set that? No, I, I do start off with one of these. What happens if we just do this? Ugh. Alright, so if I start off just blowing this thing up, like it's no big deal, and then maybe I do this, oh, they, they just die. Well, that's pretty good. Um, huh. You know what? I don't need that thing. Uh, hold up. I could just do that. That's a decent fall right there. That's not. Um, I could blow that up. Okay, this is interesting now. Suddenly I'm interested. Uh, how am I going to get that though? Yeah, so this is this is not gonna work how I want it to, obviously. Well, maybe it will. You know what? Maybe yeah, I forgot. You can start using multiple mice for things. Oh wait, wait, wait. We had should have had one turn. Oh, I okay. Placed it wrong. 
Okay, this is this is where it gets really complicated here. Why do I keep why don't I place that in the corner? There you go. And then this maybe right here. Okay, why okay, this I think this could work. I'm gonna be surprised if this does not work. We're gonna release him. We are gonna blow this up after one mouse hits it, turns around. There oh my gosh, look at that. We're working together. All the mice are going different paths. What is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is this is where the game starts getting really exciting. You got a new brick. Jelly brick softens rodents' fall and prevents them from dying when jumping for more than three blocks. So multiple paths. You know, I did not even consider that. That could be the clue uh, for the previous level that we were looking at here, uh, which is level 11. Just curious. Just thinking it, you know, maybe it's true. I don't know though. I don't know where I'm gonna go with that. If I even can do anything with that knowledge. So, that's really interesting. Idea, um. You're gonna go up. Maybe the first person goes across. What? Okay. Maybe that's how it's done. But I meant for the first one, so let's go ahead and revert it. What? Okay. Revert. Alright, so... <laughs> Mm, okay. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how to do this this level. This level's hard. But you guys, I'm just going to take a step back. All right. So, but you guys get the idea, right? I mean, there's so many things that that level's a true puzzle puzzle for me. I'm not able to pull it off in time. And then, you know, we got a long way to go. Wow, get get to section 2. Anyway, well, this has been a quick play of Mousecraft. I don't know, I mean, there's probably going to be so many new items and contraptions to unlock as we progress through these levels. I do want to thank you guys for being here, for watching this video review. Uh, go check out the links in, in the description if you want to get Mousecraft for yourself. I think it's a really fun game. Uh, pretty puzzling. It is indeed like Lemmings uh, versus, not versus, but Cross with Tetris. Um, some of the puzzles are, are easy, some of them are really, really tough. And there, there are a lot of course in between, a lot of cool items, a lot of cool innovations. Uh, this is a very solid game. Uh, I don't know, uh, I, I don't know how, how, like how long this game is. That's one thing. I don't know how long this game is. It's hard to tell for sure. Uh, it, this could be it, um, or there could be more. I don't know. But uh, so far, what you saw is me playing through the first 15 levels. Uh, Completing them all 100% with the exception of 11, which gave me a lot of problems. Uh, so I will see you guys later for more Zack Scott games. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Goodbye. I'm Zack Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos. And if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. That's Egon. Those are my cats.